number 10. They go where no one else dares. They do what no one else can. They're the ones to call. Who are you people? Damn, I hate to fly. But they only answer to me. My name is Charles. Of Knockout. Hi, Pete. How are you? I'm good. I just got Number nine. I'm so sorry. Boston. K-12. Some sort of secret agent or something. are dead. It had to be shot. By who? Me. Actually, I shot the first pilot. He shot the second one accidentally. Yeah. One of those things. Number eight. There are women who have lace bras, silk thongs, things designed to excite a man. A thong would look ridiculous on me. Shoes like these should not be locked in a closet. They should be living a life of scandal and Mom, you really don't want to do this right now, do you? No, but I also don't want you on my couch for the next three months. This to you. <gasps> because she's my sister. This Rose here. I want you out now. Where am I supposed to go? You figure it out. Number seven. This is the story of Stanley Ipkiss. Stanley, you are the nicest guy. His job is at the bank. You're 40 minutes late. Now that's the same as stealing. I'm sorry, Mr. Dickey. He loves his dog. Come on, bro. He's polite to his landlord. Epkis, do you have any idea what time it is? But now to change. <laughs> because Stanley Ipkis is not the man he used to be. Huh? Number six. Oh. Call you later. When? Don't say soon. I hate it when you say soon. Soon! Julie's a friend. Sometimes we sleep together. You can do whatever you want with your life, but one day you'll know what love truly is. David Ames. You're following me. I just felt bad at your party. Did you stop caring, David? Slow down, Julie. When you sleep with someone, your body makes a promise whether you do or not. Number five. We might as well be honest with each other. Just tell me. Did you sleep with her? I slept with her. Are you happy? Did you say, am I happy? You gotta be. Yeah. Where do I want to go? By myself, depressed at Christmas. Just 6,000 miles apart. We knew the yes. Oh, I was his brother. Broke up with someone. And considering that you showed up here. Number four. Most people. Me. I was engineered, born to save my sister's life. Having a child who is sick is a full-time occupation. Sure, we still enjoy the usual day-to-day -day happinesses of family life. Big house, great kids. But beneath the exterior, there are cracks, resentments that threaten the very foundation of our lives. My sister has been in renal failure for months now. You're supposed to give her a kidney? I want to see my parents. Number three. On my challenge, we have met at this chosen ground to settle for good and all. Who holds sway over the five points? Us natives or the foreign hordes? With this knife that struck him down, let me put to rest my father's ghost. I'm not in love with him. There's more of us coming off these ships every day. Number two. Thank you. Okay. My name is Craig Schwartz and I have an interview with Dr. Lester. Please have a seat, Mr. Juarez. The symbol on the left is not a letter, sir. Damn, you're good. You know that I don't even know your name or where you work? And 50 other lines to get into a girl's pants. <laughs> yeah. So, honey, you thought any more about us having a baby? I think that maybe we should just wait to see if this job thing pays off. This thing is a hole into somebody's brain. Yes, there is. Number one. Are you going to the prom? I, I don't... You're going to go with, like, a bunch of people? or? <laughs> exactly, yeah. You want, like, a designated driver? Oh, no. I, no, no, I wasn't... Are you okay, Ted? 
It was definitely love. I'm Mary again. I haven't seen you since, uh, since... Senior prom. <laughs> yeah. I, uh... How's everything? And then the truth is, I... Take me and my brother to a ball game. 